Mike Zeisberger with Terry Koshen for Post Media. We're here at the Air Canada Centre where Team Canada moved to 2-0 and after a 5-0 victory over the Slovaks. And Terry, the big thing is, this was about as dominating a game as you can get. Only six shots against that mm -hmm. Team Canada allowed in this game. Yeah, it ties a record size for the... Uh the Team Canada World the World Junior record uh, hasn't been done since 1983 in a game against Norway that, that allowed just six shots on goal in a game. And you know there have been other games where they scored 15, 16 goals, uh, just the five tonight on 44 shots. But uh, I don't remember seeing a game as dominant as this one, just with that defensive play and the fact that the Slovaks had nowhere to turn. And, you know, you could say, well, they didn't have anywhere to turn. They had the pucks in their stick. Well, the fact of the matter was they they really did have the pucks in their stick and. The odd, odd time that they, that they did, there was no outlet or anything for them. So I think it's uh, it's, it's certainly encouraging, of course, how could it not be? But um, the fact that it's happening this quickly for Canada now through two games, I think is a surprise to a lot of us. You know, you've covered double figures in terms of uh, World Juniors over your career. But one of the things about this team that people said coming into the tournament was there was no real star power. But when you watch this team through two games, whether it's the first line, second line, third line, no matter what the defense pairing, this team seems to be strong from top to bottom. There doesn't seem to be a great fall off. There isn't, and uh, I think that's one thing we're finding. It's not one or two lines that goes over the board size and, and sets the tone for this. It's all four of them. 13th forward as well is Michael McLeod coming in tonight and scoring a goal. You have the seventh defenseman and Jeremy Lozon with a couple of points. Everybody's contributing. Both goalies now doing something good. So top to bottom, you know what, some of these kids will go on to be stars in the NHL. Yep. Dylan Strom, I think, has got a good chance of doing that. Matthew Barzell has a good chance of doing that. We don't know that yet, but right here, right now, top to bottom, 22 players, everyone's making a contribution. And you can't say that with every junior team in the past. So it's, it's certainly encouraging going into, I think, what's going to be a glorified practice on Thursday against Latvia. Well, that's, that's it, Terry. I mean, they're 2-0 and right now. They go in against Latvia on Thursday, and so far we haven't seen too many warts, if any, in Team Canada's game. For Post Media, I'm Mike Zeisberger with Terry Koshan from the Air Canada Centre.